Okay, I mean, I mean the, the agenda of risk mm -hmm. modeling uh, mm -hmm. keeps, keeps evolving, it keeps expanding. So, I mean, for example, um, we, you know, we are now modeling a tsunami in a lot of detail mm -hmm. in many regions of the world. So we've, we've just uh, launched a whole set of uh, tsunami footprints mm -hmm. for, for big earthquakes. Um, similar to the, the earthquake in Japan in 2011, but which have the potential to occur in many other regions too. So we, the, 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 the area of risk modeling is continuing to expand. We continue to get new data from, from New Zealand, for example. There's much new information about liquefaction in earthquakes and how it causes damage to buildings. So it's, it's, always, a, it's always moving, this, uh, this agenda of what we're trying to build. Two things that are driving these changes. I mean, one is that, that ev we've, we've seen events which may be somewhat rare, but they teach us n something new about risk. So the Jap Japanese tsunami taught us some new features about, about how to understand risk, the earthquakes in New Zealand also. So, so events happen and they teach us something a little new, and we need to keep expanding the modeling capability for example, Hurricane Sandy in, in America that, that uh, had highlighted some new features about, about losses to marine risks to ships and, uh, and boats. Clearly, the HFA2 process is, a, is, a, is, you know, it's, is an enormous process to try and move forward on, uh, on getting a better handle on disasters. I mean, we, we believe that, that risk modeling is going to be a key feature of, of the programs for disaster risk reduction going forward. If people are trying to decide where to invest or, or should you build a new flood defense or, or should you implement a new building code, you need the same kind of probabilistic models that the insurance industry has been using to answer these questions about disaster risk reduction. So we think in five or ten years time all the agencies on disasters will be using the kind of risk models which the insurance industry has been using. I think insurance needs to become more ambitious about what it can do in disaster risk reduction because currently there are many regions of the world that where there is no insurance. And I think the insurance industry should be going there and testing out new, new products, products. Um, trying to get people involved, and maybe offering them a, a year of free insurance or something if to, to just to, to bring in, to show how insurance can be effective at reducing the impact of disasters. I think there's a lot of interesting experiments which, which um, one could do. I thought Sean Wang, for example, had some really good points about the insurance industry needs to get more proactive in this area.